six different kernels and one amazing rom how it is going to perform let's check it out hello guys and welcome to avk app reviews today i am going to give you an in depth review of cataclysm rom for nexus 5 it is one of the most popular rom for nexus 5 the cataclysm rom is based on stock image for nexus 5 i have tested this rom with six different kernel so i am going to tell you all the stats about this rom with six different kernel in this review one important thing before i start my review now onwards i am going to start a daily analysis of every rom that i am going to use so i will post my analysis every day on twitter and google plus so do follow me on twitter and google plus the links for the account of google plus and twitter are given in the description below so let's move ahead and check out the installation process of this rom for installation you have to go to this xdia thread i will post the link for this thread in my description here you can find the zip file for the rom now you have to get that zip file and flash it in a recovery now this rom has aroma installer support so it is very easy and simple process to install you don't have to flash any g apps file or a super issue file with this rom the cataclysm rom provides android version 5.1.1 that is latest version of android available for nexus 5 and the build number is lmy48b so let's move ahead and check out the benchmark scores for this rom i have tested the cataclysm rom with six different kernel so this is the score for stock kernel and this is the score for custom kernels so as you can see the elementalist kernel has highest benchmark score as compared to other custom kernels The Uber L kernel and Health Score kernel has a benchmark score above forty thousand, while the Codebue kernel, Electroactive kernel, and Despair M kernel has benchmark score above thirty thousand. Now let's check out the battery performance of Cataclysm ROM. So I am going to show you battery stats of Cataclysm ROM with stock kernel and six custom kernel. Now all these battery stats are taken after three to four charging cycles, and these are the conditions and my usage. while testing the battery life of this rom so these are the battery stats for stock kernel and these are the battery stats for six custom kernel so as you can see electroactive kernel has highest run on time that is 4 hours and above but i would say cataclysm rom plus code blue is the best combination in terms of performance and battery life my top 3 recommendation of kernels for cataclysm rom r first is code blue kernel second is health score kernel and third is elemental x kernel it depends upon your choice which kernel to use let's check out different customization option available on cataclysm rom you can find different tab called cataclysm in settings menu now you can also access this cataclysm setting via app called cataclysm now here the first option is pick toggles You can choose different toggle for your pick setting menu. You can choose them as per your choice. Then you can rearrange the position of toggles. Then you can enable the quick pull down of pick setting menu. Then you can scale the size of toggle. Then you can increase or decrease the columns in pick setting menu. Then you can unify all the toggles with the same scale. And there is an option to enable wider landscape notification panel. Then next option is lock screen options. Here you can customize the shortcuts on the lock screen. Then you can enable the black and white icons. Then you can customize the wallpaper for lock screen. You can customize the opacity, and there are some other option available for lock screen customization. The next option is in call blocker. You can enable the call blocker from this option. You can add different contacts or numbers in this menu to block the call. The next is smart radio. By using this mode, you can save your battery power by smartly switching between the LTE, 3G, or 2G mode. The next option is soft keys fade mode. It will fade your software after some time. The next option is animation speed. You can customize different animation speed here. The next is AM PM clocks. You can enable the AM PM indicator for your clock. The next is battery style. You can customize the battery style as per your choice. The next is navigation bar option. Here you can customize the size of navigation bar and there are some other option that you can enable or disable as per your choice. Then next is LED control. Here you can customize the settings for LED notification light. 
then next is notification control here you can enable the ticker mode then you can enable or disable the heads up notification and you can customize the timeout for heads up notification then next is per app settings you can customize the per app settings as per your choice then next is app oops here you can customize different permissions for different app and next option is various tweaks here are some small tweaks available that you can use as per your choice such as reboot entry in power menu clear all button in recent menu then you can enable the center status bar clock or you can also disable the status bar clock so there are such small tweaks available in this menu now you can also back up your cataclysm setting here so the rom provides pretty good customization this customization will be okay for every rom user cataclysm rom has full rro layer support so you can customize this rom by applying the overlays you can check out my channel for info about overlays and applying the overlays now talking about the gaming performance of this rom the games run pretty smooth on this rom there is no lag or any frame drops while playing the game game runs smoothly on this rom also in terms of multitasking the rom is pretty smooth there is no lag or any glitches while switching between the apps it's time for final verdict about this rom it is one of the best rom that i have tested till now this rom is pretty smooth fast and fluid all the custom kernels work perfectly with this rom there is no issue with any kernel and the battery life of this rom is amazing you can use this rom as a daily driver for a long time as it is the most stable rom till now and i would say you must install this rom with code blue kernel it will give you the best battery life and performance i should say you must try this rom you will like this rom so if you have any suggestions please write it in the comment section below and if you like this video please hit like button below and share this video you can follow me on google plus facebook and twitter thank you for watching my video i will see you in my next video